my name is Dr. Muhammad Arif Niaz, and uh, I came to deliver in 1998. And uh, um, by profession, I'm a physician. I'm an internist and practicing in deliver since 1998. Uh, when I came to uh, deliver, um, there was a mosque. In fact. Um, and um, my house or first location, first apartment which I took was close proximity to the mosque for the reason is uh, that there is a mosque. This was the only mosque in, in, in at that time in Taliban working. There is a small uh, um, mosque which was in the house in Wilmington also. But basically this is the only organization which is known as Islamic Society of Deliver, which the community of the Deliver was looking as the main organization. And uh, when we came here, um, I, I was involved with the masjid activities. And uh, during that time, there was a need for uh, Islamic school. And since the community was not um, uh, ready to develop the school, or you can say that not financially capable of developing the school, it was a big challenge. Um, uh, initially, um, there is a uh, brother who accepted Islam, uh, whose name was uh, uh, Brother uh, Abdullah Wilson. And there is another Abdullah Wilson. The, these two and some other members who came to the mosque and has a get together decided to start some school somewhere. Obviously, financially, they were not able, uh, not capable of uh, buying a building and start a school. So they started to, uh, do, uh, they, they decided to start the school at their home. So the first school, uh, which was started in. Uh, um, uh, in Dalibar was um, in the house of um, brother Abdullah Wilson and it was a very popular and successful school. The idea behind that school was that the uh, parents should be the teachers and the first school fees was $25 and all the parents were volunteer and teachers. So once they started that school uh, they become very popular and obviously they did not have that much space so there was issues with the parking um, so they decided that they could not continue otherwise the neighbors might have uh, problems because every day many cars coming to drop the children and taking off and they of course their house was not in the commercial locality so subsequently they decided this was around 1998 or 1999 when they had a school at their home they decided that in order to continue they have to have a some sort of a property some sort of a location at that time since uh, as I said that the community was not ready or not capable of uh, buying a building they decided to start the school in the trailer and uh, then the, the, they, they did not even have the money to buy the trailer, uh, which was around $40,000 uh, total price. They decided to lease it. And um, then they talked to the ISD, and uh, ISD agreed um, to allow them to use their place uh, uh, within the um, vicinity or uh, within the boundary of the ISD to put their trailer. With, with a contract from the ISD that the, um, uh, the, the school will pay part of the uh, utilities and uh, the rent of the school was just one dollar so it's just, in, just a uh, token. Um, but um, the first school which is known as the Alham school uh, was started in a trailer. And uh, that really shows that if a person who is um, um, uh, uh, who is determined uh, 
to develop any good deed, any good activity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helps. And you, you see today now having two big schools, both are full with children, uh, you can imagine that their efforts were so much successful. Anyway, uh, the first school was, uh, was in the trailer. Uh, brother Bashir Mansouri um, and some other bro brothers also joined their school as brother Bashir Mansouri came to the town in also 1998. He joined the school and then subsequently he asked me to join the school. So I uh, then also joined the school. Uh, once we started the school in the trailers, the ch challenges were now different. Uh, now the uh, problem is since the school is in the trailer uh, and many of the parents whose children were graduated because this was an elementary school uh, were no more the volunteer and it was an extreme difficulty to find ongoing volunteers who could come and spend whole day teaching as a teacher so they decided to pay to the teacher or, or, or get a paid teacher. In that way, they have to increase the school tuition fees also. But it still it is run by the, uh, it was run by the volunteer. So uh, it was, it was stayed up till the fifth grade. In fact, we went up till the sixth grade also, but basically our focus was on the uh, lower grades as the census in the lower grades were higher than the census in the higher grades. Uh, that school uh, continued uh, uh, from 2000, uh, I would say, two, 2002 to 2008. 2008 when we have the building, uh, which is the current school. Um, uh, so, uh, no, 2008, not the building, 2008 when we moved the school to the Al Mishka. And when we um, dislodged the building as the ISD decided to uh, develop a school there. Now, during this period, which is from 2002 and 2008, is an extreme amount of struggle to develop the school. And those who have participated, they realize that what we went through to develop the school. And uh, the biggest problem was as we started paying to the teachers, finance was a big issue. Uh, we were ma able to manage 50% of the um, uh, school expenses by the tuition fees and the remaining 50% we had to depend on donations. And, uh, and it was not easy to get that much donations since Alham was acting as a separate entity, not as a part of the ISD. But Alhamdulillah, we struggled and uh, uh, and we, we continued our struggle and we survived and during this period we have many mishaps also and uh, I would like to mention those some of the mishaps too because it would be important for those who wants to develop a school or similar type of organization in future they should um, uh, make sure that uh, they should uh, learn from the history uh, one of the uh, mistake that we committed was uh, uh, the school was run uh, by the volunteers and the even the accountant was a volunteer and in about 2005 uh, we came to know in fact the IRS gave us a notice that some of the um, uh, uh, taxes were not paid some of the um, some of the taxes which are the part of the salary should be paid were not uh, given to the IRS. Then we consulted to our uh, volunteer um, uh, um, uh, accountant or a bookkeeper, and uh, the bookkeeper informed that the I lost my computer, so I don't have an account. It's a big disaster because then the ISD, uh, the IRS started knocking on the door. In fact, I remember when the IRS uh, um, say that they are coming to the school and we got emails from all the board members that they resigned. 
and and it was a big i mean um, uh, i would say a threat because it's not only going to be in the news as it may come that the muslim uh, are running the school and not paying taxes or not paying uh, uh, the part of the uh, deduction for the salary that they are supposed to pay so i remember we were only three people left and uh, in those three people uh, brother bashir mansuri uh, brother pracha and me we three were waiting for the irs person coming to the uh, school and we were at that time our expectation was the irs person would come and say that okay we are going to seal the school we are going to close the school and i was surprised when the irs person came it was a woman and uh, after introduction she told me um, i was thinking to come and close the school but my son accepted islam recently and he told me mom try not to close this school so i am ready to work with you um i mean you tell us what can we do to help you if you want fundraising i can work i can do fundraising for you but i really don't want to close this school so that was a big help and uh, not only that she also informed us uh, that uh, if you pay all your uh, taxes whatever you didn't pay in the last few years i would be able to work um, with the irs to return your penalties because it's not only the taxes now they are the interest plus penalties penalties over penalties so if it is a 10 dollar it is now 50 dollar so so our big problem is penalties and and the interest not the actual uh, uh, money actual point money was not that much but with the interest and the penalty it was over 40000 dollar at that time i hired a professional uh, accountant um uh, mr henry sellers and uh, mr henry seller i would also say for that service didn't charge anything it was a very very difficult service but he said that okay this is a school and he though he was not a muslim so he is a christian but he realized that uh, how dedicated people are working so he said okay for this project i won't charge anything and it was so difficult because as our Uh, volunteer accountant in the past um, couldn't give any information do not even want to come and discuss with the irs what happened so the end result what we have to pull all the checks from the um, all the all the copies of the check from the bank and again make all the uh, uh, profit and loss statements or we you can account register of those year which they were talking was extremely difficult job and i don't know how much hours the accountant took and then they finally managed and we generated uh, alhamdulillah uh, 45000 dollar and the irs subsequently returned um, some of the penalties and and the interest also so it was a big blow and that was a big big help another thing that i learned was uh since uh, such a school particularly islamic schools have a, a multi racial or the multi color people coming uh so we hired one teacher and at that time our uh, we didn't have a professional p- uh, person looking for the jobs and for the contract and we hired one person who was afro american brother very good brother but what happened was um that uh, brother um reportedly which i um either was uh, slap a child or threaten or something that he would beat or something so the principal immediately called me and an uh, interesting principal was also sister aisha she was also afro american and she informed me that dr niaz you have to fire this person immediately so as in the um uh, uh, alham there are um, i called the meeting and we decided since it is written in our 
contract that uh, we have to give a notice and all those legalities and so we gave him one month salary and asked him to leave because um, the um, because of, of of the allegations and the problem was that though he left but he went to the labor department and uh, his claim was that we fired him just because he's he is a black or he's a fm american mm -hmm. and then again we got a call from the labor department um, for a case of discrimination so i again me brother pracha and brother bashir went to the labor department and not only that he took some of the members from the wilmington wormos with him because he started saying people that the only reason he is uh, discharged he was discharged from the service was because of his color which is absolutely wrong we had um, our principal was afro american say i mean how could we do that to a teacher and the recommendation was from the principal who is afro american so there is no point